Welcome to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this week's Bob Blast is all about the importance of a discarded old mat. So here's my table. You can see the paintings all over the place, plus the paints. The table is my palette, so it's very difficult to, for me to know where the palette ends and the painting starts. So a good way of doing this is to isolate it. And uh, you can do that with an old discarded mat. You can see exactly what's right, what's wrong. I see what I can do next. And so it's a great way of doing that. So an old discarded mat works just fine. So for a larger piece, well, you use a larger mat, okay? And you can see where it's going at this point. If you don't have a larger mat, how about a large piece of paper? Uh, it's much, much easier to do something like this. And there you go. There you can see it. You isolate it away from the rest of the... Boy, here's one I've been looking forward to seeing. This is a collage piece. I wanted to put it on a piece of white paper so I can see where it's going. Let me move it up here a little bit so I can kind of see it. And you can see it. We both see it at the same time. I wanted to see how it's coming along. Let me show you uh, what I do with the larger pieces and how I hang them on the wall. So this is the system that I use in my studio, just a white wall, and I have a couple strips of uh, one inch by two inch, one, one and a half, something like that, of pine, real soft pine, that's uh, also mounted and glued, nailed into the walls. So for my larger paper pieces, I can either just put pins, you know, those not long pins, or I like to use this uh, craft uh, box tape. There you go, craft box tape, it's all you need. And uh, I turn into a little double bag and I just stick it up on the wall like that and so instead of using tacks you certainly just, there you go stick it up like that it's another nice way of kind of doing that right and now and then for the larger canvas pieces the larger canvas pieces uh, I'm still working on them I want to see what they look like up on the wall so I can stand back and look at it for a long period of time again I just put some screws and the next one up they're up there permanently it's done. It makes it so much simpler. So, whether you use a simple mat or the studio wall system, uh, it's a great way to look at your work and uh, remember to stand back and really look at it for a long period of time and you'll know instantly what's right, what's wrong. See you on the next one.